Whoa! Whoa! We're starting. Oh, so this is technically the eleven, I believe. Wow. Yeah. How time flies. And we have two guest players. So we have Lance and Tina. We met Tina before. They're my siblings. They're Just in time for Christmas when wow. we're recording it the day after. Yes. Yes. And so last time, you guys had received a basically an invitation to go and investigate Randerick's um, rum, which is a distillery. That's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you heard this from uh, Winna, which I found out is actually um, pronounced Vina. Oh. Hmm. Because WH makes an F sound. That's okay. In your game, it's Winna. Uh, I like Fina more. I think it's cuter, so we're going to call her Fina. Her name is now Fina. It's now Fina. Okay, so mm -hmm. Fina approached you and said, <clears throat> I will take you to the distillery and tell you how to get inside, and from there you can investigate. Because she, um, <clears throat> I think there's bad stuff going down. And currently, you guys are in, I'm pretty sure you're along the beach just outside of um, Jupa's bunkhouse. So if you guys, do you guys want to do any sort of downtime, or do you want to just like skip ahead? I would, if we skip ahead, does it count as a rest? Because I think I don't have any key points. Um, yeah, you can say that you guys just take a rest. And Contemplate say, everything that yeah, happened to I us. I mean, I'll give you guys a full rest, a full long one, because I, um, I have timetables. Excellent. So you guys could My key thanks you. I'm gonna chill with my firefly. Oh yeah. Firefly. Was it firefly or dragonfly? Dragonfly, sorry. Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. And dragonfly. now Kampta can shoot laser beams. <laughs> Freaking laser beams from her hands. Because <laughs> she I likes the sun. Three. Yes. Yo, yo. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are just chilling in Jupa's house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Killing time. Yeah. Ellie, did you get those uh, earrings recently? No, We're not there is... yet, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of my hair. It's made out of leaves. <laughs> it's made out of leaves. Okay. All right. So okay. Yeah, well, this, <laughs> this is it. Sorry, we're, we're just going go. into it. It's been a while. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys hear a knock on the door. It's around midnight. As okay. you waited, this is the time that Fina said she would arrive. She has a ribbon. A robe. Alright. <laughs> she has a robe. She just I break out my pipe. <laughs> and I'm like, alright, time to start the case. <laughs> and I click it and I make it change colors. What colors does it change? Green. Um, it can, you can change it according to like what you want. So it can change to like. It's green. <laughs> does it blow bubbles? Yeah, yeah the pipe it, blows bubbles. It specifically it only blows pipe. bubbles. Yep. <laughs> Bubble pipe that you can change colors. Okay. <clears throat> Who answers the door? Ellie does. Yeah, okay. Ellie answers the door. <laughs> you see Fina on the other side. I open it slowly. <laughs> You've arrived. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I look left, I look right. Anybody following her? Anybody make, around? Make a perception check to see if anyone's around. Can I make a perception check too? You're inside. Oh, yeah. oh I mean, I can come out. Okay, you, you come out. Are you coming it. outside? Are you peeking your head out the door? What are you doing? Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna peek my head out the door. Journey. Maybe like, look down the road a little bit and give myself guidance. Okay. Dirty twenty before bonuses, so twenty-six. I look out the door. Rolled an eight. Coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Ellie, it looks clear. Nothing. Yep. It appears to be. And in, in, um, Luna, you look outside. You notice this like really annoying buzz, like, and it's it's a fly. But that's it. Okay. <laughs> you, you proceed the heck out of that fly. <laughs> so then, like her hair or something. Uh, she's just like, I'm just trying to get rid of this thing. Squish it, squish it. Uh, we'll see if she can do it. Oh, yeah, she does. She's like, <laughs> so it's not a shapeshifter. I got it. Oh, it's. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think this through. Oh, oh it's really close. She kind of wipes it on her man's body. Oh, he's a spider. Okay. So, um, I'm very 
go. She has her hair, her normally long luscious hair, pulled back into a ponytail, and then um, has on um, like a little gray cloak. So what do you need from the distillery? Well, um, you need to speak inside. I don't know, it's kind of cold also. Yeah, we'll, we'll invite her in. Okay. Yeah. So you bring her in, talk around the campfire, bonfire. <clears throat> well, I came from my, um, I came from my island to follow my brother, actually. Name. Um, Valerie names are hard to remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. Paul. Tafiri. Oh, you're right. Okay. Paul Tafiri. <laughs> Tafiri. He started working there, and usually I'd get letters from him, but he went blank, and my father knew nothing of it. So I was sent here to try to discover what happened to him. And when I went to the distillery. It was very strange. They didn't want any visitors showing up. And it's all parted off. <clears throat> I've been able to investigate a little here and there, but they have really scary dogs that guard the place and big scary guys that guard it. And, and everyone... I can't get much of a great look because I can only see through gates. Um, but everyone there is just kind of in a... I don't know. It's like they're on alert, or it's like they don't know they're there or they're aimless. Like they they just work and then go back to their huts and um, they seem really skittish. Did you see your brother at all in there? Um, well, there I I only saw them from a distance because mm. the fields are like way over there. I know it's not a lot to work off of, but something just doesn't smell right. You know what I mean? I understand. I also understand that we are a little too good at breaking and entering, if I remember the last time we got in trouble like this. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Sorry, I'm just looking at you in general. <laughs> no, no. I don't know, me and Luna are pretty good at sneaking into places. Yeah. So I think we'll be... <laughs> <laughs> These are great leaves. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's, that's great. That's great. I'm very ready to go. I can't give you much... She pulls up this, um, this, like, necklace that she has. She's like, it's not much, but that's all I really have to offer. And it's, um, uh, a pearl, a string of pearls necklace, mm -hmm. um, decorated with, with shells. Mm -hmm. She this is an heirloom, but if I can find out about my brother, I'll, def I'll give this to you. That sounds good. It's a lovely, lovely necklace. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that you should hold on to the necklace until if it works out. You know, yeah, I don't want you to lose something sense. so precious if it doesn't, if something goes wrong or anything like that, too. But right, we'll, right. we'll continue on, of course. That's a good idea. Um, so mm -hmm. she, she puts it away. All right. Um, this is sort of embarrassing to, um, <clears throat> well, to admit, I have actually been on the compounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure you have put one and two together. I'm kind of um, a lady of the night. <laughs> Kayanthi did not put two and two together. She's not smart. She's like, what? <laughs> I was going to say, has she figured it out yet? <laughs> lady of the night, so do you only stay awake at night? or? She's a vampire. Vampire? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, shut the door. I apologize I the door. for my companions. She's, she's in there with us now. I know. Oldest profession. <laughs> Oldest Vampirism. profession. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be pretty old for that profession, oh, that's for oh sure. Uh, no, she. Uh, Luna, we have to take her down. No, 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 no. Are you? I'm just a prostitute. I drew crap. I'm holding a bunch of garlic. <laughs> I grab one of the pieces of garlic and toss it at your face. <laughs> oh. That is not how we treat guests. Don't worry, okay. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't even know what a prostitute is. You mm. don't need to know until later. I mean, she's old enough to understand, but let's not go over that now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, unfortunately, it's the only work I could find. But <clears throat> the Cooper there, he's the guy that makes the barrels. He, um, he would occasionally request my services um, and would bring me in through a side gate. So I could bring you in through that gate. 
Last time I was there, I was able to nick off this, this key. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm not very sneaky, so I was only really able to get more or less what I already told you. Um, but that was, you know, about two weeks ago. He hasn't requested me since, which I thought was strange. He's usually like on the top Tuesday night. Oh my. <laughs> So not gonna look at Tuesday night the same ever again. <laughs> I don't really want to know what happens on Tuesdays. Like, is Tuesday just a really bad day, or like? Luna, I don't think those are questions we are fit to ask right now. <laughs> anyway, do you want? Anyway, are you ready? To go? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay. So you guys, um, she leads you out of the city and then across this rural terrain it's like a bit of a walk but it's um, Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you pass by this you eventually come up to a um let me put on the outside Ooh, so it's windy outside and you pass by a lot of fields of sugar cane and eventually you come to this stone gate <clears throat> Uh, the outside walls are made of quartz stone that was placed together meticulously. It's a little too loud. Let me adjust the blowing. Yeah, enough of that blowing, buddy. Here we go. Tell the wind to zip it. <clears throat> Please, uh, the exterior wall appears to be unblemished, as though it hasn't really been disturbed. There is a main gate made of metal that you guys pass by, and it's entitled Randerick's Rum Southern Branch. Uh, Fina brings you around to the um, west side to a side gate, <clears throat> pulls out your key, and then opens it. Okay, the gate's open. To be honest, I really don't think I can help you. I'm really bad at sneaking around. She trips several times. Oh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> just wait here. And, you know, I think it might be better if I just, you know, kind of waited um, here or... That's of course. Mm-hmm. Don't Especially worry. since I've already been, you know, kind of sitting around here. I yes. Don't, wanna, anyway, don't um, worry about it. We'll take care of it from here. We'll start looking into it. Your brother's name was... Uh, Tafiri. Tafiri, oh. right. Mm -hmm. Let you. the professionals handle it. Yeah. Don't, please ignore her bubble pipe. Can you give us a physical description of him? Well, he looks a lot like me, actually. Um, he's a bit taller, and he has um, these arm tattoos that had to pick up waves on them. Okay. Like so he also has big blue eyes like me. Um, so how long has, she, has he been missing for? I stopped receiving correspondence or, or letters from him about a month ago. Mm. All right, well, you go ahead and head back. We'll mm. start looking into this for you, okay? Okay, I'll meet you at the, the bunkhouse tomorrow. Be before we go in, is there any other information about the distillery that you can give us? Uh, well, it's owned by um, Beatrice and her brother, and her brother hasn't been seen either. Mm. Um, it They've eloped. <laughs> well, that would be very scandalous, but yes. um, Beatrice is still here. Mm. Um, oh, I thought you were talking about with her brother. Beatrice's mm -hmm. brother with yeah. her brother. Uh, yeah. They're in love. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't chaotic, that was just me. Um, um, I think that's about it. You might, I, I know there are dogs on the premises, so yeah, keep we just an have eye out for those. Keep an eye on the dogs and um, just start looking to see what we can find. The, I don't... What kind I think of dogs? the people here are being kept here. Mm. Cantankerous dogs. <laughs> yes. We can only ask so many questions before we go inside, I think. Uh, I just want to know, like, what breed. Like, oh. um, can we, can, I can, tr I can, I can shift, so. They got four legs. <laughs> one tail. Well, no tails, actually. Oh, no tails. those kinds. Well, the tails all are gone. really big and, and scary. Um, okay, other pile of paper. Oh. He takes nuts. Okay, so they're 
they're really big and have a big chest and they have pointy black ears and a long muzzle with a little short tail and she she like kind of acts it out. Rottweilers? <coughs> I'm writing down the description. <coughs> have I seen this kind of dog before? I come from a dog city, so. Um, city ruled by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical bear. It looks like so a city on the moon. It looks kind of like a wolf, but not quite. It's like it's a little. It's I don't know. It's not as big. It's a husky. But, it's a husky. <laughs> <laughs> well, their tails are short, but they could. I guess dog tails. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all I really have to offer. Okay. Oh, that's pretty helpful. All right. Should we just let's go inside? Forward? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, the, um, I'll give you like a general map. We can of move the things. Area. Boop. Tina and Lanty will come in pretty soon. Sweet. Okay. Get ready for your oh. grand entrance. So you guys are. Um, let me just double check. Nice font. You guys are like right here. Cool. So in front of you is a building off in the distance well this is all like the sugar cane goes like all the way over here though but okay. anyway so off to your right you see the sugar cane fields off to the left you can see the main house and um what appear to be some smaller houses in the distance and that's all you can perceive for now we're right by d right yes what is d um it appears to be a distillery small, <laughs> appears to be a small building you don't know what it is it's a building. Okay, well. Okay. There's a building. Pass without trace time. Ooh. Wait, do I have that? I have that. Okay, you have that. He yes. has that. She has that. Yeah. I only know what well, that is because of last session. It was a, the well, be, before we go in, I can have our my little spirit friends help us out. <gasps> and I, like, take out my staff, and I just, like, dink it, dink it on the ground. Bing, bing, bing. And then, like, Four, the four little globules that you guys seen before kind of go around us and just like this little pixie dust kind of s comes out of them Aww. and it clings to our form and it makes us slightly transparent as I Ooh. cast pass Ooh. without a trace on all of us. Nice. Now dogs can't smell us. All right. Sick. I don't know how and long it lasts. We take one step hour, forward. Where are you guys going? Toward the D building. Okay, you guys move. That's what I think. What do you guys okay. think? D building. Yeah, let's figure out that is. It's, a, okay. it's D building. If it's one hour. Yes. If mm. anyone cares, I was speaking with Boink, and apparently, if Boink? we, yeah, the firefly. Firefly or dragonfly? What is it? It's a dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> Dragons breathe you. fire, so I see them. This <laughs> reception. It's a dragonfly. Dungeon. Dragonfly, thank you. <laughs> boink, just speak. Apologies, Boink. Um, if we want, he can go invisible, and I can see through his eyes. So if we are stuck in a location, Ooh. or we don't want to go into a location, he can invisibly fly over there, Whoa. and we can see what's happening. Al, That's I believe there are huts in the distance. Can Boink? Boink. The boink. dragonfly. Boink. Yeah. Boink. Boink. Right. It, it Can flies like this. Boink. <laughs> like, like, a, like, a wa like a rock skimming off of waves. Okay. Um, <laughs> can Boink go and look into the huts over there? I think those are huts. In F? Yeah. Boink yeah, can F. go do that, but um, Serena will just be seeing through his eyes. Oh, and you not have to guide her. her. Yeah. I, I will be blind, so... Oh, yeah. oh okay, cool. Boink's I don't well, know that happened. Like, Boink's you, you, you've already cast Pass, pass Without speed. Trace, so we can just uh, uh, go, like, move over there, and then, like, when it's a more, like, difficult thing to get through, like, going through a window, instead of, you know, just walking around the uh, okay. field. 40, then, 40 feet fly yeah. speed. Okay. Okay, so then Boink could scout ahead if we ever need, need yeah. to. All right, in the meantime, we can just go to D building. Okay, so you guys are on the back side of it. Okay. okay. You guys walk around the side. Try to, yes. Is there, do we see any entrances or? And you guys, um, pause. Did you hear crunch, crunch? Oh, you hear footsteps. Shh, 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 shh. Tina, please describe your character. 
<laughs> Did you tell them that you were going to do this to them? Uh, sort of. Oh. Okay. So I Next am Sia. 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 Sorry. Like that song. Sia. Like say Sia. Sia. <clears throat> Black Black Blade. Ooh. And I am a half human, half dwarf. Hmm. What does she look like? Does she belong? Uh, you can decide. Black She's Black Blade. Yes. Oh, she's blonde. <laughs> she's a blonde and Black Blade. She's blonde. Um, so she. Be... And I have violet eyes. Okay. Ooh. Yes. And, Twinsies. Uh, she. <gasps> really? Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. How tall do you picture her? Because she could be like. She's a dwarf, half dwarf, half human. So probably on the shorty side. Yeah. Like five feet. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. It's about five feet. Built uh, lively. And perched on her shoulder is a small pseudo dragon. Ooh. Oh. A little pocket dragon named Rowan. Oh, Rowan. <laughs> dragon friend. I feel like there's a joke there somewhere. There is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't explain it. It's Rowan's objective. It take a long time. And behind her is another figure, Bale, who resembles her quite a lot. Let's describe your character. <laughs> My character's name is Seer Blackblade, who is also half dwarf, half human. Also blonde? Sure. <laughs> also Would Violet Eyes? Sandy Blonde? Sure. Why not? Yeah, twinsies! <laughs> yeah. Or, you know. Um, <laughs> yes. Do you have long hair or short hair? Well, I guess I'm a half dork, so probably long. Do you have a beard? Like short beard? Short. Okay, <laughs> got a short, well trimmed beard. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, what do you guys do? These two figures appear before you. Fight stance. No, let's just I, like quietly move away. Let's just cling to the walls. Let's just wait from the past by. Fight stance, Am I cling to the walls. Like, oh. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> Theme music, come on. Uh, come on, music major, go. Sure <laughs> dun, 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 You can't dun. just copy someone else making your theme music. Shut up. Girl. Well, you, um, girl. I saw them. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the sake of things. Fighting stance. Yeah. Working against yeah. fighting. Especially since, like, you guys turn yeah, the corner mom. and he's, like, there. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, whoa. <laughs> I can see you. Like turn the corner, just immediately turn back around. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the just like, way. Whoa. Guys, stay quiet. They won't be able to see us. They did. What makes you think so? Everyone, roll stealth. We have plus ten. Hello there. <laughs> oh no, they saw us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Sia. Hi, I'm Sia. Who are you? Is that what you normally do when you come across people in the middle of like the night? Yes, I'm very okay. friendly. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm pointing my um, staff. Hello? Can you introduce Aesir if you want? This is my uh, older brother, Aesir. Why am I suddenly older? Because I because it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I wanted to be the little sister this time. I'm pointing my staff at both of them. We're investigating a. Disappearance. Yeah, yeah, head over her mouth. <laughs> disappearance, huh? <laughs> Do you work at this distillery? Slowly changing my fight stance to something else. I don't know. She'll say no. She's uh, no. Nope. Nope. Don't work here. Oh. What then are you doing? Yes. Here? Why are you here? Are you a lady of the night? Um. No shame. Just don't those curious. women stay up all night long? <laughs> Depends how well they're getting paid. Aesir just groans. <laughs> 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 well. Oh boy. Okay, well. You can tell them that you are doing her dream. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we are uh, we're demon hunters and we're on a quest to uh, hunt a specific demon. Which or a client. What specific demon? Ooh. What client? Tell us more. We're interested. What what type of demon? <laughs> the scary kind. <laughs> Wind towel. Hold 
I feel bad for them. They're just kind of walking into this whole like, I know, inside joke. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tiffany was like, here, here's all, here's all the things. <laughs> sorry. Christmas, and I was sick. Aw, no, Tiffany. <laughs> so, we are currently oh, no. being trained as demon hunters under um, Professor Windhow. Yes. Yes. We know who that is. Oh. oh. Yeah, we've met with we him. Oh, wonderful. She's met with him more often than she should. She bought him muffins. Yeah. What kind of muffins? Cranberry cinnamon, right? Yes, cranberry cinnamon. Don't you love how I knew that there'd be a type? (laughs) 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 Well, I mean, the other two has told me that's what to do, so. So we are, um, there's been some uh, demon problems, and we've been sent out to, to hunt this. Demon. I see. Yes. Well, um, is it what? What information do you have about this demon? Like, where has it been seen that before? Here. That it's in this property. Yep. You were sent to um, find and ascertain and defeat this demon by using your skills to locate and defeat it. Yes. But then it is a test for them. Then for us being here for other reasons and you being here for your reasons. Does it mean there's a demon here? Yes. For sure? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. What kind of demon Unless is it? Unless you're here? really bad at tracking. But we'll, we'll, is it the sleeping? The ones we'll where it steals well, your soul we, and you snore? Or your sources say, yes, it is here. Yes. <laughs> Profes- <laughs> the professor sent us <laughs> here. He, he located the, the demon, and then he sent I us here. That. Okay. Yes. Well, we are very interested... But you can share. It might be related to what we're doing, too. I wouldn't be out of the question if demons are responsible for people's disappearances. Yeah. Oh. So why are you here? We're investigating. The people disappearances. Yeah. Is that pipe blowing bubbles? Yeah, you want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another time. You can't try it. It's not real. <laughs> It is. Just <laughs> I'm just like, and I blow bubbles in your face. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> oh, she's never denied the bubbles. She's just denied the actual pipe that it comes out of. She thinks you're just blowing you it out. You get distracted a lot. Don't worry about it. So perhaps we should team up. Yes, for sure. I don't know anything about demons, frankly. Uh-huh. So. Uh, if you have any help for us, we could probably figure something out. Wait, but our sp- the spell where we're, we're, we're hopefully I, less I visible. I think it'll cover them because it's centered on. Oh yeah, that's right. Because oh, okay. it's like thirty feet or something. So we have like to that. stay yeah. with you. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. And then like they see like two little little like balls of light that kind of look like Navi from Zelda. That's just kind of. Hover over them and then like sprinkle dust over their form and then they turn slightly transparent just like us, even though you guys clearly saw us. <laughs> <laughs> Plot reasons. Cool. Now everyone... We were only slightly transparent. If we walked straight into their faces, they would notice, I'm sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. My like, spell doesn't make you invisible. It just makes you more stealthy. Basically. Cool. Cool. All right, where are you guys going? You got the building, you got the... Well, Do we I'm figure out good. what building D is? Have you, have you guys... In- Looked inside of this building? Or did you guess here just like we did? We just you arrived. It's, it's D for the... demon. <gasps> Let's get it. Kill the whole building. I know it's building D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop calling it building D. It's not building D. It's, no, we're saying it's, it's D the... building. What happened to A through C? This is the building where they make barrels. Oh, that's where the Cooper is. The Cooper that knew. That makes sense. Fina. <laughs> so. Biblically, yes. <laughs> well, it would. Well, we should, <laughs> oh my well, God. we should investigate because um, Fina said that she lost contact with him a while ago. Yeah, so I think we should look inside. Mm-hmm. Is okay. there a window? I'm tall. I can look over things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Yes, there is a window. Okay, so... Sweet. I look through the window. <laughs> um, and, okay, so make a uh, perception check through the window. I'll give you guidance, so... Yeah. Add one before. Yeah. All right. Remember, perception needs to be there, frankly. I have seven plus three. That's a ten. And then my d4. I'm believing you. <laughs> roll, high. roll a twenty. Hey. Three. So I got a thirteen perception. Okay, so you um, you 
you go up to the window, you kind of rub the fog away, look inside. Inside you can see that um, there's a wooden floor and you see just piles of wood mm -hmm. in in sections because they've been cut up in specific parts. Okay. And you see wood, uh, not wooden, metal rings hanging from the ceiling along <coughs> with a small anvil. Um, and you assume it's for like forming the rings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and there's uh, a small brazier still crackling. Hmm. No one appears to be inside. Strange. That specific room. <clears throat> um, I guess there's, there's any doors? Um, yes, if you, um, you look over to your right and there's a door. Okay. Like the door leading outside or is a door in another room in there? Oh, oh sorry, you're, okay, yes, there is the, there's the door that leads to the outside and there is another door that leads to okay. another room. Alright, so this first room is empty of people, but the fire's still going, so someone should be inside. Mm -hmm. So, if they're being responsible. Uh, if they're being responsible, they should at least put out that fire. That's going to be a safety hazard. I mean, you guys could have Bonk and, I mean, you have a... Boink. Boink? Yes, it's Boink. If boink. we're going to say this weird name, we're going to pronounce boink. it correctly. It's Boink? Boink. I always thought it was Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> if he was a bit bigger, maybe. Oh. I could go inside and take that. a look around. I'm Well, we I'm should let Boink and you have a dragon on your shoulder. I do. Oh. Yes. I want to be stealthy. And my pseudo dragon does stuff. Kathy also does stuff too. <laughs> we can all do stuff. We all does stuff. Also, we're just looking at a window. Hey, has advantage on wisdom checks that rely on sight, hearing, and smell. Uh -oh. If only I did too. <laughs> so, um, there. But can... not very helpful when trying to open a door. So I can, someone can open the door. And yeah, then one of us could prop open the door. Can't they will do it. Okay. Can't they also open the door. You try the door. I try the door. It's locked. Oh, shoot. <laughs> of course it's locked. Of course our rogue in the year. What about the key? The key that Fina gave us. Didn't she have a key? Yeah, Is that the key to the gate? It's the key to the gate. Oh, that's right. Okay, it was just to the she gate. She didn't give it to you. She still has it. I was very excited for that key. Who can pick locks? I just kicked the door open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make a strength check. <laughs> What is that, a d20? Yeah. Yep, d20. Those things are... I need to be strong. So that is... I went on a journey. Is that a one? <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> on. Really? Go! Oh, so you knock yourself backwards? Or? That's a <laughs> one plus four, so that's a five. That's a nat one. Um, uh, how strong is the door? <laughs> It doesn't so, matter at this point. Now no, what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like, on break account. my leg or something. No, like what happens is um, the two of you are like, oh, I can take point. Well, I can sit right into Rowan. And then Kathy's like, I can just sneak in. And then Acer's just like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna like, and it's, I'm just gonna kick the door down. So he like moves around. And then um, in her, and then Say like sends her arm out in a, in a, He's like, I can send Rowan. And the Rowan like leaps out in front of, of Aesir unexpectedly and he's like, oh, and then completely throws off your momentum. Oh. As um he he lands on his butt. As, as Aesir is like falling back. Aesir. Can I Sorry. <laughs> can I go be can I go behind him and catch him and then can oh, I uh can I assist him on his next check? Yeah. Okay, so she just steadies you because you didn't fall you just kinda reared back a little bit. You can try it. You know what, your foot this. did not connect with the door from the sound of it. <laughs> Which can. is probably good because that would have made sound. Yeah, sound. Yeah, so you can attempt to knock down the door again with advantage. Roll 20. With roll two 20s. And... Or do you, or do you not like that one? You can have this one. <laughs> Bad mojo. Net one. No, that's a three. <laughs> Natural roll, three. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. Advantage. Assistance. Advantage. Advantage. Use the tray. Yeah, use the tray. Use the tray. The tray is nice. There we go. Very nice. Yes. There you there go. go. Add your strength modifier. Which is four, so. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Oh. <laughs> so the door swings wide open. So they know it was in there. And it is now open to you guys. All right. So Campy walks in. Okay, she walks in. She's what you saw before. Sneak it. She goes and puts her ear to the other door that leads to another room. Um, so 
We're gonna do. Let's see. A hearing check. Do my ear? Do my big elf ears work or not? That's a okay. Nice do um roll a, a twenty for me. Seventeen. Um, the plus your dex. Ooh, that's high. Uh twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, so Thank you, me. with your swift, uh, using your natural swiftness, you go up to that door and put your ear against it, and you hear just like, kind of like, the shuffling of um, some furniture and like a someone going. Oh, oh. Someone's in there. Shh. Someone's in there and heard us break in. This is bad. Is there a crack under the door? Mm-hmm. A kraken? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Technical submerge! <laughs> this is just like the beginning of our adventure! That's perfect! <laughs> no! Watch out for What? Watch out for me? Yep. Cool. Um, I'm gonna, like, put my hands up to my face as if I'm, like, looking directly into the, uh, stones. Mm -hmm. And then just look through, uh, blank eyes as he tries to crawl underneath the door okay, and see what's so happening. He crawls under the door. I'm gonna give her guidance for whatever perception or whatever check. Inside, he, um, he will have Boink do a perception check.